All right, guys, William Petit Brown coming at you. And what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be making some popsicle stick spawn or wooden spoon spawn. Um, so I was cleaning up around the house and I found some of these from an event that I did a while ago and I don't necessarily need these for anything. Um, so I figured why not grow some mushroom spawn on these and use these to inoculate things. So that's what we're going to do. When I do wooden dowel spawn for um, plug spawn for growing mushrooms on logs, I like to um, I like to soak the wooden dowels in coffee. Um, and this adds nutrition to the mix. So I'm going to uh, put this coffee in here and drop these wooden spoons into this pot. Recycle this cardboard. Excuse my mess over here, been juicing and doing a lot of cooking, but fill this up with water. Kind of get these submerged. I'm gonna go ahead and get this on and popping, and we're gonna get that boiling to get that coffee brewed and uh, get that coffee extract infused into these empty cells of this uh, cellulose and lignin in this uh, wooden spoon. All right, so we've been boiling them in the coffee grounds here with this lid on to um, keep the steam in there and increase the heat um, to try and add a little more layer of, of pasteurization or sanitization. So you can see they're turning brown infused with the coffee water there. All right, guys, so we got them. They've been boiling for about 20 minutes, um, letting the steam in there, letting the coffee soak into the, into the uh, popsicle sticks there. And we're going to go ahead and drain it. I'm going to run some cold water so I don't melt my pipes with all this boiling water I pour down all the time. And I'm not worried about any of that extra little coffee on there. The mushrooms will eat it up. Just kind of shaking off the excess water, shaking off the steam. All right, so we're gonna act a little bit fast here because we want to um, make moves while this is still a little bit warm. As it cools down, then there's opportunity for other things to start living in there. Um, so one of the first things we're gonna do is we're gonna clean off our grain spawn jar with a little bit of alcohol. And a clean rag, and we have some oyster mushrooms here. And I'm gonna go ahead and break these oyster mushrooms up. I can. This is going to be a task. And with the magic of videography, we have a broken up jar of grains. All cleaned off again. There we go. And my hands are clean from this alcohol as well. I'm going to go ahead and get a clean, clear plastic bag so I can see what's going on in the inside. Introduce my popsicle sticks. And I'm going to make sure they're not hot to the touch. You know, they're not they're not gonna hurt me. So as long as they're not so hot that they're gonna burn me, they're not gonna kill my mushrooms. They're not gonna kill my mycelium. I'm gonna go ahead and just add the mycelium liberally. Lots of mycelium. Oops. I'd say you know, just trying to make sure it's a little bit covered up. Um, the more mycelium, the merrier when it comes to something like this where you're not sterile. And I'm going to go ahead. I'm not going to press out all the air, but I'm just going to press out some of the air. And tie this up. And I'm going to go ahead and break up any extra clumps that were in there. I'm going to leave a couple clumps because they'll just add extra little juicy inoculation points. 
uh, but get this all mixed up. And I'm gonna go ahead and just set this in a cabinet somewhere. And I'll check on that in a week. The coffee soak popsicle sticks are now fully inoculated, uh, fully colonized with mycelium. There's no contaminations. It smells very clean. Um, and it's actually trying to produce fruiting bodies. Um, now these popsicle sticks can be utilized to um, introduce this mycelium into new material.